Hi, I'm going to show you how to tie a quite big caddis which got the uh, difference that the the end of the body is uh, in the water, it stays in the water, so it's a little bit heavy here. The name of the pattern is MP54 and you can see here all the material required to tie this pattern and all the tools required. Uh, as well as you will find all my pattern on that book. Okay, so let's start. First of all, you start by tying the tying thread, wrapping the tying thread around the hook, and you go in the beginning of the curve, quite deep. You use first that light olive color, which I call jaune sal, dirty yellow. Second, in order to make it a little bit heavy, use a little bit of tinsel that you're going to put right next to the feather, like this. You bring it as well close to the beginning of the bend of the hook. Then you use your plier in order to use the CDC around the hook shank and you twist it and twist and wrap around the hook shank that way. I'm not going to go all around the body but it is just a tag like this. Then you stop it you secure the feather and then you secure the thread. Then you cut the excess, you cut the excess of fibers and then you use the tinsel in order to make it a little bit heavier at the beginning of the bend. Like this and that's it. Yes. So it increases the illusion of the segmentation, but it also increases the weight, which is what I want, because I want this section being constantly in the water as well. Okay, now you choose one of those uh, dark feathers to make the body, and as it is a caddis, do not hesitate to make it quite thick, like this. Now you use the alcohol plier, trim the excess of the feather and start to wrap around the hook shank like this in the continuity of the body you started. Okay, leave a small space because we do have to put uh, wings and the thorax afterwards. So one more time, few wraps to secure the thread. Clean a little bit what you could not incorporate with the process. So like this. And now you choose uh, two of the light uh, mellow and one of the white. Put the pot 90 degrees from the stems and start to collect the fibers on one side of the feather and then you turn it the other way around and you collect on the other side like this. Try to have quite uh, enough material. Uh, I like very much that color because you can see it from very far away when you're uh, fishing. And so once again it's a uh, light mellow and white. Two of the light mellow and one of the white. So fix it like this. Control that it is all around 180 degrees. Then clean up the excess on the front. And last feather will be a dark feather to illustrate the 
store racks. So I would take one of those, we'll tie it right in front and we'll use it for the thorax. So fix it strongly, then use the alcohol plier and do not hesitate to go back and forth with it in order to make a bulky uh, thorax. When you are done, you finish, you stop it like this, few wraps to secure the feather and few wraps on front to secure the thread. Raise your bobbin, trim the excess and use your finisher to end up. One and another one right after. And that's it. So trim the tying thread and then the only thing we have to do is to adjust the length. So that's it. Control that you have not too many fibers under that it will float very close to the water. So this is a very good pattern to imitate caddies. So thank you for your attention.